Hello guys, what's up? Echo Spirits here. Welcome back to, well, a redo of my Schematica tutorial because uh, I found out that my recording device was a bit screwed up, so I'm making a redo today. So I'm pretty much going to be covering the same things here, but um, anyways, let's get started. So first, for Schematica, uh, I'm showing you guys some basic controls. Go all the way down to the bottom. You have your load Schematica, manipulate, move and like other controls that you don't have you don't have set naturally and then multiply which is your safe schematic so these three keys are basically those three of uh, your numcat numpad and then I like to toggle perfect key so it's done and then what you do if you press the divide button on your num key you get this screen which tells you all of your schematicas um, if you got just got this map uh, mod then you probably don't have any of these but you can add mods to it by opening your Schematica folder and then downloading mods uh, with the Schematica files. And then if you wanted to print one of these or show one of these, you would just click on it and then done. And then uh, if not go one that's big, do a smaller. Yeah, there you go. It's a smaller schematic that one wasn't loading and I'm not sure why. But here um, you see it just kind of path transparent opacity uh, blocks show up and then you can move it around by pressing the minus key here um, you can move it you can move it the direction of it flip it well that flips it upside down which you probably don't want to do and then rotate it around which for this it doesn't really uh, do anything because it's just a cactus farm and then you can also shift around its location press move here to move it to where you're standing or near where you're standing and then if you click on the materials, it tells you what exactly and how much you need of each uh, material, how much you've placed. And then printer, if you turn that on, it starts placing. Um, and when you place it, you want to make sure everything is like connected to some sort of block so you can place the items. So since I have P toggled to my toggle printing, all I have to do to start printing is first get the material. But since I'm creative, it should get it automatically. Now I'll press P and I move around. And it should start printing. Yeah, I have my settings messed up. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, sometimes it glitches out like that. I'll restart Minecraft and then also check out your settings. If you go to mod options and to schematica, configuration, uh, mostly you'll be messing with the printer here. Um, these settings is what I would suggest for most servers if you're to be using it on like some faction server or whatever. Uh, because some servers with factions allow you to actually use Schematica. But um, these settings may or may not work for you. Uh, you should probably try these out. If it doesn't, it might kick you for like sending extra packets. I would suggest you turn the place instantly off and maybe increase the timeout or placement delay and then decrease the placement distance. I wouldn't suggest making uh, the distance very like up to five if you're placing instant because that's really fast. Oh yeah, and also make sure when you do change something, say if I set this to false, you have to press done for it to save. If I just press escape, 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 and I go back into it, uh, it doesn't save. See, it's still true. So you, when, you, when you change a setting, you wanna make sure you press done before you are done every single time and make sure that saves. So now that you know how to get your uh, get and print your schematica, now let's uh, let's get rid of this. So you press minus and then unload. And also on here you could change you could see it by layer. So this is zero and then you add layers one, two, three, four, five. And then you could keep building like that too. Um, also I want to show you guys uh, if you, get, you can get rid of this by clicking on load, but let's see, um, you can also, with redstone is very helpful. Uh, let's build up to this real quick. So once you build up to this, you can place uh, to this real quick. So if you get redstone, if for say you're when, when the block's not placed, it should be blue colored. But once it's placed, it should turn to that color. However, if your redstone repeater is placed, but it's not the right tick, it will appear as orange. All you have to do is just click it a few times, and then it turns 
back to nothing, and then you're all set. Um, and then if you have a block somewhere where it's not supposed to be, like this, uh, not like that, like this, it'll turn out to be purple. And then if you have a piston or whatever facing the wrong direction, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I think I'm lagging a bit, that's why I did this working. Then you also have to face the direction when placing some specific blocks. Say that this piston was not facing the right direction, it'll show up as orange, so you'll need to fix that. Um, so yeah, uh, same thing with water actually. Water, if you place it down incorrectly, say like, uh, I need to first print some of this first. Say you print it like this, then it'll show up as purplish. But if you place it in the right spot, it should work out fine. And I placed it wrong again, so there we go. And then uh, same thing, everything else. Um, I think that's pretty much it for displaying. Now moving on, how to create your own schematic. Uh, say you wanted to copy this tree, okay? So what you would do is click your star button, and then here you have a red point and a blue point. So you want to turn those on first, and by clicking each one, it moves it to where you're standing. So the blue point, I would put it right here. So this, these pretty much select the corners of the um, of the like the bunch of blocks that you want to select. So this one, you want to move it out more. Uh, oh, well, I'm done. <laughs> this, this menu, sorry, the star menu. Uh, you want to move this, and now it's onto that corner. Now you want to get your other point, the red point. So I'll move all the way up here, click the star, red point. And now it moves it up here. And you can move this around, move it down. Oh my god, I keep on doing the wrong thing, sorry. Move it down, and you can see also with the green line, it shows you the tracers outlining too, which will help you. So that's the max height. Then we want to move it out. Uh, well, you could actually move it in one. There it goes. So it just covers the tree, and I same with the blue point. You can move it in, in, and then there you go. You have your tree selected, and everything inside of it. Well, include the hill. You can probably clear that out if you didn't want it into your schematica. It will copy every single block inside of here. And then all you have to do is press the star thing. Here, I wouldn't change the format. Keep that alpha and then just name the thing. Say tree. And click save and exit out. And it should tell you here that it's saved. Now, if you want to pull back your schematic, all you have to do is press the divide button. Look for your name, tree. Done. And then there you go. There's your tree. Or whatever you want to copy. Um, and then all I have to do is press P or print or whatever, and you have your copied schematic pasted. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial video. If you guys did so, please leave a like down below, subscribe, and uh, yeah.